are you using my code? If you're looking to change who you're supporting inside of Rec Room or just aren't supporting anyone inside of Rec Room, why not support me? It's super easy. All you guys got to do is either go to that link down inside the description below where you guys can use my code or you guys can go in game, go to my profile, then actually press that little support button that you guys will see inside of my profile. It's pretty easy to do. Now, of course, enough of these shameless self plug and let's get started inside our Rec Room News video. To start us off, we have a new weekly rotation today. Yes, that's right. It's Friday and we have a new arcade themed weekly shop. Just taking a little peek at the, you know, cool little details that they have here. And another interesting detail is behind the shop, we actually have this little, you know, food menu. We even have some other games here too. And honestly, it would be cool if we could like use them or something or something cool would happen. And of course, inside the shop, you guys will find new items, some being shield skins, some of them being other item sets. It's pretty cool. And we even have this new consumable going for 500 tokens. And I'm pretty sure that this is not any different from root beer other than it just being like a new skin for it. What do you guys think? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Here is what's inside our new rec center shop. Be, be sure to let me know what you guys think. And this cutie pie right here is a featured creator. Voix. love to see him. Massive shout out to Voix. This is out of stock inside our rec center. And I'm currently waiting for the weekly rotation image. Not gonna lie, this weekly rotation was mid. I would say it's not bad. It's not totally good either. But of course, be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts. And of course, we shall wait for the weekly the rotation image. If I get the image by the time I'm editing this video, I will have it on the screen. Recom had an announcement saying Recon 2024 is coming up. Right now is the best time to start prepping your booth submissions. You can only submit one booth, so take your time and make sure it's perfect. Booth submissions are due August 26th, and there's more info inside this link. If you guys decide to go to this link, you guys will see that it's like a little, you know, Recon 2024 is coming up announcement. Inside this link, Recom does actually talk about the release date of Recon being this September 27th through 29th this year. We have a full weekend of panels, booths, parties, and meetups for you to explore and participate in this year. Right now, their booth applications are open at here, and of course, make sure to follow all the guidelines to have the best chance of being accepted. Players are only allowed to submit one booth this year, so make sure your booth is looking great and ready to go when you submit. Now, inside this link where you see the booth applications text and how it's all blue and stuff, that takes you to the booth applications webpage for this. Some things have changed, so listen up, because this might be important for you if you're planning on intending Grecon inside of a booth this year. First of all, the deadline for booth applications is August 26th. Then, each player will only be allowed to submit one booth. We will not be sending out emails on whether your booth was accepted or not. Booths with unauthorized use of intellectual property may not be selected. This includes inventions, custom shirts, or anything other content or imagery in your booth. Please read all guidelines and rules carefully. The booth template has changed. Do not use the old booth templates. And of course, name your booth. It'll be your username, Retcon Booth 2024. They won't be giving any feedback on booths, so be sure to follow all the rules to ensure the best chance of your booth being accepted. Then they also have like a little video showing you how to submit your Retcon 2024 booths. And before you apply, they have stuff for you to do, things to note, and of course an FAQ. So if you plan on submitting booths this Retcon, read the rules very carefully. Some things have changed this new Retcon, and honestly, it's kind of hype, so I can't wait to see you guys there. I'll probably be streaming it and stuff like that. I'm going to actually be there this Retcon, and of course, I'm excited. In other news, we did actually receive a research lab survey. You guys can see it now if you guys are inside of research lab you just got to go to your email and Recum had a new developer blog they even had an announcement about it talking about equipment slots and storefront v2 new dev blog learn how to make the most of Recum's 2.0 econ tools using equipment slots and the storefront v2 now this blog post basically goes into detail about two features that accompany the econ tools inside rooms 2.0 which are room inventory and offers including step-by-step -step instructions on how to implement some of the common use cases they start off by talking about equipment slots and they say equipment slots is a feature that displays inventory items on the bottom of the screen and allows them to be used by touching them or with hotkeys. Think of them as a shortcut for users to use an inventory item without having to go into their backpack. Creators can enable slash disable them via circuits or allow users to assign inventory items to the equipment slots of their choice. For some context, they say why did we make equipment slots? Well, we've heard a lot of feedback regarding the difficulty of using room consumables. You had to open your watch, click on the backpack, find the room's consumable you wanted to use, and press the use button. There there were a lot of steps that left creators worry that their consumables weren't as valuable because people didn't know how to use them, and if people didn't use them, why would they purchase any more? They go on to talk about use cases, and they say equipment slots are designed to be a shortcut for using inventory items, but they can also serve other functions, such as equipment manager, ability hotkeys, custom UI shortcuts, or special interactions. Because 
creators can control what items are equipped in their slots and what happens to those items activate almost anything as possible. And as an added bonus, if a gameplay element works through the slots, it'll work the same for players on any platform. No extra work required. Now they eventually go over how it works and stuff like that and they talk about the requirements that you need, setting up the equipment slots via circuits and whatnot. It's a whole tutorial inside this developer blog and I of course will have the developer blog link inside the description if you guys actually want to follow this tutorial for your room. It's pretty dope and if you guys are interested they even show how they allow users to set up their own equipment slots as well and it gets super into detail. Now this isn't all that we have inside this developer blog, they also talk about Storefront V2, and they go on to say that Storefront V2 is a container object that displays a group of selected room offers in a grid. Using the Storefront is likely to draw more users to purchase an offer since there is familiarity with its UI across rooms, i.e. people expect to find cool things to buy when they see a Storefront. Storefront V2 exists only in Rooms 2.0 and have several more features for flexibility compared to its Storefront predecessor in Legacy Rooms. They have some context here, and they say, After a lot of requests for storefronts in Rooms 2.0, we wanted to take the opportunity to make a few improvements and establish the foundation for future iterations. The previous storefront was limited in its use, and you couldn't hide or change the color slash material of the background or change which purchase- which purchase- which purchase- which purchaseables, I could not say that word, are displayed via circuits. We want something that is complemented the flexibility of the new econ tools, in parentheses, room inventory plus offers, and give us an opportunity to iterate on UI in the future. Now, in case you're wondering why you want to use Storefront V2 to sell your offers, there is basically no rate limiter for spamming compared to the show purchase prompt chip. You can hide the storefront background, you can change the color and material of the storefront background, you can hide the entire storefront, the storefront can either be synced or low Local, offers displayed on the storefront can be modified via circuits, and lastly, consistent UI across rooms. In general, you have more control over the storefront in Rooms 2.0. If you only want to show what certain offers based on what level a user is at, you can do that and without needing any additional storefronts. You can even create a full navigation system for viewing different types of offers as seen below, inside this little gif. Then they go into how it works again, and it's basically just another tutorial on how to do that. And as I just said before, if you guys really want to go through all this and go through the tutorial, and really implement this stuff inside your games, then I will have the link down inside the description below. Now they go on to talk about what's next. Do you plan to allow creators to sell their custom shirts via Storefront V2? Well, the problem is, how do you differentiate between avatar items that you only wear inside of room, e.g. costume dummies, versus avatar items that you wear across multiple rooms? While we don't have an answer to that yet, Storefront V2 is currently designed to focus exclusively on in-room econ tools only, i.e. offers. With that said, we will eventually want a way for creators to sell their own custom avatar items inside of rooms that may mean providing support for Storefront V2, a completely different storefront, or something like a link button. There are two big steps you want to take with Storefront V2. A chip to trigger the storefront in the watch, i.e. the page you see when you click view more, or two, more UI sections. Currently, there is just a single grid, and in the future, we want to experiment with adding carousels, banners, and let creators choose which items get shown. And they have an image showing that all off. It's very, you know, complicated looking, but it goes into detail. We'll have display options like grid, carousel, banner showcase, buttons, titles, thumbnails. It's cool. The goal with these iterations is to make it easier for creators to increase visibility for their offers in the context of their rooms, and it can be difficult to make sure you have a storefront at every point in the room. So giving a way to show it via the watch will hopefully mean more views to your storefront. Of course, we also want these views to convert to purchases, so having different UI sections gives creators the ability to highlight their offers in the way that leads to the most earnings. And that was pretty much this entire developer blog. Be sure to let me know your guys' thoughts, and I will be looking at your comments. But of course, let's get into our last piece of news for today's video. Room is coming to Switch, and to celebrate, we're giving away three Nintendo Switch systems plus 20 gift cards. Enter for a chance to win here. Okay, um, <clears throat> are are you inside my channel membership? Wait a second, you're, you're not in my channel member. Do you know what happens if you join my channel membership? Basically, my channel membership is when you give me some money every single month, and I basically give you some perks every single month. So if you're a calamari through octopus inside my channel memberships, you can get shouted out in all of my videos. In addition, with a bunch of other perks that you guys can check out by checking out that join button next to the subscription button. So, of course, massive shout out to my current pookies. And these people include Alt Troll 2, Mufi, Abby Young Creator, 
Carter, Chazzy VR, Jordan the Wolf YT, Dead Channel, PFG on VR, Hack Classy, Dino Pine Out the Pup, Espos Mania, Carl the Skunk, Hockey Boy, Jack Tutorial, Ghastly, Garlic Bread, It's Freddy RR, Dozer Blade Cat, BB Burning Out, Bucket Guy, Yo Shaky, Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and of course, Box David. I love, I love, I love you, my channel memberships, and if you're a squidling, I appreciate you as well. Now, let's get back to uh, whatever we're talking about inside this video. So, yes, that's right. Rec Room is doing another Gleam giveaway, basically, for the Nintendo Switch. I would make a short, but YouTube would probably take it down, so I'm not going to. But, of course, they have all this info here. As you guys can see, inside of Gleam, there's 17 days left for this giveaway, and there's almost 18,000 entries. Insane! They have more information saying Rec Room is coming to Nintendo Switch. Get ready to explore rooms and socialize with friends now on Nintendo Switch. But if you don't have a Nintendo Switch system yet, want to win one for a sibling or friend to play with you, or just love giveaways? Well, Rec Room's got to cover. You have a chance to win one of the three new brand new Switch systems to play Rec Room on, or one of 20 to 25 Rec Room gift cards to switch up your style. Check out all the details below for how to win, and the prizes are as follows. Three grand prize winners will each receive a Nintendo Switch system, and 20 additional winners will each receive a $25 Rec Room gift card. Now Rec Room will basically have you do things like check them out on Instagram or follow their socials and stuff like that, and per everything you do, that could be like an entry or maybe a few entries or something like that. So that's how there's so many entries. One person can have multiple entries into this giveaway, so it equals more of a chance of being selected for this giveaway, if that makes sense. Of course, if you guys want to see more Rec Room news, it really does help if you guys decide to subscribe and like the channel and stuff like this, maybe even share this video with friends because if they play Rec Room, they may not know what's going on inside of Rec Room. Anywho though, if you guys want to see more Rec Room content, you guys should see a video on that side of the screen. And of course, I love, I love, I love you for reaching all the way to this point of the video. So, that's it.